one really important neat thing that um, a friend of mine um, showed me how to make which uh, which is a very simple balsa stripper you can buy these um, at a hobby store or usually online I suppose now um, and they're rather expensive but they're very simple but it lets you take a sheet of balsa and make yourself your own kit parts very small strips of balsa but all you do is literally take a nice piece of hardwood and like this one is I got this one a 1 16th stripper I got 3 32nd on this one and I got 1 20th square on this one and what you literally do is take a couple pieces a couple rails of your balsa that you want to be as thick as it's supposed to be you glue one down with fast drying glue you take a second piece and you sandwich your piece of balsa that you want to use, the thickness you want to use, um, in between, I can stick it in a slot like this, put the other piece flat up against it, glue it down, and now you have a perfect thickness and basically a square. So this thickness is the exact width of a one uh, 3 32nd piece of balsa. And then you've got these three thirty-second pieces of balsa that are used used as cradles. Then you just take a uh, single uh, use razor blade, like a really cheap Bic razor blade from um, uh, shavers, just for your for your beard or your legs. Pull that apart very carefully. They're super sharp, and just glue it down. So what you've got now is you take your piece of wood and you just slide it through this slot up against that razor blade, and you get a beautiful piece of uh, balsa that's square. So for example, I need um, some 1 32nd, um, uh, 1 32nd by 1 16th um, strip to make some little um, pieces for, for, for formers on the back of the airplane or for stringers. This is a piece of 1 32nd sheet. So all I'll do is stick it inside here and I just literally glide it along and hold it in place and just sort of make sure I'm putting my finger down so that it's pushing down. And I just feed this through very carefully all the way along the length. You have to make sure your piece you're using is straight, so make sure it's got a straight end on it. But you just pull that off and now you've got a beautiful piece that is 1 32nd by 1 16th. And it will go, it'll make some stringers for the turtle deck on the airplane and I can even use it in this case for spars on the uh, wings. So anyway, just wanted to show people that's how you can make one of these really simple. This one can strip three different pieces of wood. Um, works like a charm, super simple, very easy to fix when they break. Fantastic. Okay, so now what we're going to try is to make the edging of this little rudder. So what I did was I copied the plan, used some uh, spray adhesive and stuck it on some foam, some foam, cut it out, and then I took this little edge and I put just some regular little bar soap around the edge all the way around. That's so that things won't stick when we put the wood around the outside. So that's the right place, I think. Now you take some pins and hold this thing down onto your building board. Nice and tight. Now you take your pieces that have been, these are 1 32nd by 1 16th, and they've been soaking in the sink and some water for a little while. Take a little tight bond of glue and just smear a little all along the contact point for the next piece. And they'll slide back and forth a little bit, but that's okay. All the way down. And put your other piece right on top. And it'll slide around like I said. It won't be perfect for it initially, but that's all right. But now what you've got is a laminated piece of wood that is hopefully now is wet and will be able to bend around. So I start on one piece like that on the top. And I just put a little pin next to it so that it's up against the form and then you just start very carefully kind of pulling so I'm pulling in this direction and pulling it around all the way around the form and as you do this because the wood is wet it's going to hold its shape pretty nice 
and you can put pins all on the edge that will hopefully make this thing into a really nice curve. It'll end up being lighter, which is important, especially with these little models. And hopefully it will end up being um, just a really nice, look at that, all the way around. That looks really good. Need to make sure it's up against everything. This should end up being a really nice edge. It's a lot stronger than using little chips of balsa. And um, it will uh, hopefully turn out really, really nice. So I pull this end around. I'm going to run into trouble here, I just realized, because I'm a doorknob, because I need to cut this piece off to be able to bring the other side down all the way. That's okay. So I keep pulling. So again, I'm pulling and bending. And because it's wet and because it's very thin balsa, it does a really good job of sucking up to the edge. Really good, actually. And we just put more pins around there. And what you end up with, it's, it's really easy to do. You do this on wing tips, you do this on tail surfaces. You can, I've even seen people do it successfully to make formers on the fuselage. I've never done that because I've never gone that crazy. Uh, but it's something that you can do. So there you have this piece. It's just going to sit there. It's going to hopefully dry. Some people put them in the oven to dry. I just tend to let them sit there. And what you have is this little guy, the right shape. When this all comes out, we'll try to show you, hopefully it worked work the way I tell you. And this will be a nice shape, a nice form, and it will be the beginning of um, the beginning of the rudder. Okay, so now we're going to try and pull this apart. It's been about an hour, and so I'm going to see if it actually worked. Um, and so if it doesn't come apart, you'll get to see that. And if it looks good, you'll see that. So I'm really curious to see what happens. Um, if it actually does work. So I'm going to cut off these little pieces here because these are... pieces that are going to be trimmed anyway because they're going to be used for the rest of the of the edging. So pull that out. Look at that. And so what you've done here is just sort of glue the wood to the board. Um, I'm going to be okay, but what I should have done is do this on top of a piece of plastic wrap. But this is going to be fine. Um, so learn from my mistakes, but there it is. And so it's not absolutely perfect, but it's still the shape. And this will then go on to the plan and be a really nice, strong, um, shape once we put in it, put everything in there. This is really good. It worked. It reminds me of carbon dioxide. That is an interesting shape. Okay. So now what we've done is we've put plastic wrap over the plan and then we put all you of that your little video? piece yes that's my son speaking <laughs> interrupted me but that's okay did you know that he aced his chemistry and biology exams in college i'm very proud of him anyway so put that piece around and pinned it and i started to put pieces the cross pieces of the 116th in there and just to show you as my son said who wants to watch someone put a bunch of balsa wood onto a thing he's probably right but here we go. He'll be laughing after we have how many millions of hits and become monetized. So my wife's laughing too. So you put a piece of wood and you just sort of match it where you think it's going to go. And you put a little mark on your balsa wood. And you take it over and you try to find that mark. And then you cut it. And then you test fit it, putting it where it's supposed to go. It looks really, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Then you take a little bit of glue. Again, I'm just using regular old type on glue from the hardware store. Nothing spectacular, but it, it dries quick if you won't put a lot on. 
and it's not as heavy as fast drying super glue. And it's also not a chemical reaction, so it doesn't shrink. But it's all, the biggest thing is it's not heavy. Anyway, so you put in that piece, and now that's basically the rudder completely done. That's how simple it is. And so I let that dry for quite a while, but I can start working on the stabilizer or the wings or something else. We'll see how it goes. But that's how you, that's basically what you're gonna do with all of these. Cut and paste.